officially kick off. to take a moment for us to bow our heads. Let us bow. God, we thank you for the opportunity to be in this room. First off, acknowledging and honoring your presence that allows us to be thankful, to reflect, and to just look over our lives, understanding that if you don't do anything else, you truly have already blessed us enough. But because you are God and you're so good, we thank you for your continued blessings and abundance. As the program is outlined, God, we do honor our past. We honor how you have kept us along the way, but we chart our future realizing that whatever is ahead of us, God, you are already ahead of it. So we trust you and we ask that your blessings abound in this place on this day. And God, as we go forth and eat this food, we pray for the hands that prepared it. We ask that it bless our bodies and also that this time that we share nourishes our souls. We ask all of these things in the precious and mighty name of your son, let every heart say amen. Amen. Okay. Official good afternoon, Gaston County, and a welcome to our Gaston Business Association's annual meeting and celebration. We are so glad uh, you are here. I'm Steve DeAvery, Senior Vice President of the GBA, and I'll make sure we keep things moving right along so you guys can go back to work this afternoon. So, uh, just, I'll, I'll write a note for your boss. So. We have got, uh, we're gonna start our uh, program with our awards presentations. 
And um, for, for many years, we've had the support both of Duke Energy and South State Bank for some of our annual awards that we celebrate some very, very deserving recipients. We also have a few folks um, in the crowd that have been our past recipients, and we'll try to recognize them as well. We're gonna start with our Duke Energy Citizenship and Service Award, and I would like to introduce Government and Community Relations Director and GBA Board Member, Ms. Martha Wigner. Thank you to everyone, but um, is this not a beautiful audience? I noticed that everybody's ready for the holidays and everybody's so pretty, so thank you for dressing up for that. But um, we have some past recipients of the Duke Energy Citizenship and Service Award. Would you please stand? is certainly proud of the communities we serve and especially of the people who make these communities special. The Duke Energy Citizenship and Service Award recognizes those who make a difference in their communities by using their time, their talents, and their compassion to positively impact the lives of others. This year's award recipient certainly mirrors the purpose of this recognition. Here to announce our award winner, I call on last year's recipient, Pastor Rodney Freeman. Good afternoon. Uh, my assignment is to introduce to you uh, someone that I know dearly and someone that who is absolutely one of the greatest human beings I've ever met in my life. And I don't say that because uh, she's a member of the church, but I say that because she is a great human being. Uh, her name is uh, uh, Cynthia Stick. She is a writer, she's a author, she's a poet, she's a stage play writer. Uh, she is the youth pastor at our church. And then not only that, she's the mother of two young uh, young men that's doing well in life, and also uh, she has a goddaughter, goddaughter that she cherishes. Uh, Cynthia graduated from the University of North Carolina, and then she also has a uh, master's degree in health administration from uh, UNCC. Uh, she's a certified life coach, and she owns her own business. She has a Vision Works Enterprise and CNJ Creative Expression. Uh, she has a passion, a passion. Uh, for public health, and uh, she is someone who will absolutely go in the trenches where others will not go. Cynthia will go there. Uh, she has retired from the Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, she received the honor as one of the 100, uh, one of the 100 distinguished he uh, public health nurses in North Carolina, and she currently works for the Gaston Business Association uh, as leadership uh, Gaston coordinator. And so she is committed to the uh, to the Highland community, does a tremendous work over there at the Urban Center with the youth in that particular community. Uh, I know that I want to say that because that's what's on her resume, uh, but uh, we all time, uh, people get these awards, we always talk about what they do. Uh, but I think before you can do anything, you got to be somebody. And one thing about Cynthia, she is a probably one of the most compassionate people I ever met in my life. Uh, she is kind, she is gentle, uh, she is a leader, uh, and even short in stature, but she's a leader. <laughs> she's committed, she's dedicated. Uh, she is someone that's a change agent, and she is a difference maker. There is no doubt about it. Our community is better because of Cynthia. She is one of probably the most jovial people you will meet. Uh, she's gonna laugh and she's gonna laugh at you whether it's funny or not. She's still just gonna laugh <laughs> because that's just who she is. Uh, in that. But one of the things that what I'm always admiring about her is, is her support. Uh, at Mount for Blessings, uh, Cynthia jumps right in there and has helped us to get to the place that we are now. She's a board member with uh, Bounty for Blessings, and I think she absolutely is one that's well deserving of this uh, award. So if you would, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to help me to celebrate uh, my friend and one of my uh, 
someone I admire, uh, Miss Cynthia Steele. children that may have challenges. And it takes us all. So I look around the room and I see so many that has helped me serve the babies, the parents, the community, the homeless, whomever that has a need, we are here. So it's not an I thing, it's a we thing. And if you're not on part of the we team, come on board. Cause it's gonna take us all to make an impact in this community. So I don't take it lightly, I am honored and I'm a crybaby, and I'm trying to keep my tears back. But I cry tears of joy today because it's a celebration not just of Cynthia, but every person that I serve. Thank you for your love, thank you for your partnership, thank you for the sponsorship of this award. And again, thank you community out there, not just in here. I hope they hear this, I'll send a recording. Thank you for allowing me to be of service to all mankind. I love you, thank you, I would be remiss without saying thanks to my sister flying in for one old night to be here to celebrate with me. Thanks to my uh, cousin, Hattie, not just a cousin, but my sorority sister as well, because we serve at that level. Thank you for my goddaughter. She got to represent my other two boys. One lives in Durham, one in college, and they will be here to say, Mom, take a picture, I will. And thank you for Terrell, part of the family, and also I thought with the other Cynthia, my aunt Cynthia. So thank you all for being here. And Leadership Gaston, where you at? I love you. Thank you for helping me serve. And thank you, Pastor Freeman, for allowing me to serve beside you as we continue to lead the youth at our church. I love you guys. Thank you for this honor. such a blessing to so, so many of us. Now I'd like to introduce our presenter for both the Aurora and the Athena Leadership Award. 
Ms. Janet Sarn, Vice President and Market President um, for South State Bank. Uh, Ms. Sarn and South State have been great supporters for the Athena Leadership Award for so many years, um, continue to, uh, to bless so many of us here and look forward to hearing about our Aurora and Athena recipients. exemplary leadership for the last 15 years. And she is under 40. <laughs> Trish also has a beautiful family and she is very proud of her son Riley and their daughter Blair. She is grateful for her partner and husband Jason. Trish is also a tireless volunteer. She is past president of the Junior League, on the board of directors for the Backpack Weekend Program, serves on the Grant Advisory Board member for the Caremont Health Foundation. Trish has dedicated her life to helping others as a nurse and has grown with Caremont Health throughout her career. She has been an, inter been an integral part of the planning and all that is to come with the new hospital Caremont over in Belmont. So please join me in welcoming Trish Dr. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. All right. So I too am a 
crybaby, so I had to bring my notes. Um, and I'm much more comfortable in those trenches in my scrubs or in now in a hard hat, which I've learned to love as well. So um, bear with me. I'm not as eloquent as my um, great mentor, Dr. Robin Lane, but I will try my best. Um, I am overwhelmed with gratitude to have been selected for this award today. Thank you all for being here to share this occasion with me. I'm honored to have my work recognized by not only the Guys and Business Association, but also South High State. Um, for the past several years, I have been afforded the opportunity to serve my healthcare organization in this community. And it means so much to me that the work I'm passionate about also resonates with you all. This accomplishment is not something I did alone. And there are many who deserve to share this award on the stage with me. I would like to thank my colleagues and senior leaders at Care My Health for the opportunity to grow and learn in a safe space. For believing in me when I was just a little baby, <laughs> new nurse grad, and giving me a chance um, and providing me an opportunity that allows me to innovate new patient care and safe patient care. I also would like to thank my family for being here today, their love and support. Um, no matter what crazy idea I have, they're always there to either take my kids, pick them up, um, cook dinner. I do not cook dinner ever. My lovely husband does that. Um, and no matter what I decide, whether it's hanging banners in the school at midnight or whatever it may be, is willing to tag along. Um, thank you to those other women, many who are in this room today who mentored and provide inspiration to me along the way. That inspiration made success, inspired continued growth, and ignited a flame within me sometimes when I just wanted to settle. There's nothing more empowering than being surrounded by women who uplift you to be your best self. Thank you, Beth, to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, so thank you, uh, Gaston Business Association, the previous Athena Committee for offering to recognize women leaders like me. I hope that this recognition can serve as an inspiration to other women. Remember, if my work can make a difference, so does yours. As I leave this building today, I pledge to continue to serve both my community through leadership and mentoring other young leaders to bring positive changes in the healthcare community and creating innovative solutions for patient care for many years to come. I am humble, I am appreciative, and thank you so much for everything.
Now this is a long list and I didn't even write all of them down. Kathy's list of awards and volunteer services is impressive. At Columbia College, she was a trustee scholar and the class vice, vice president. She's a graduate of the University of the South School of Theology. She served as the mayor of Cramerton for two terms. She established the nonprofit ROCK, which stands for Reaching Our Children's Communities Kids, by providing children in need clothing, school supplies, and field trips. These are some of the boards that she served on. The YMCA, the Red Cross, Holy Angels, Gaston Educational Foundation, and Habitat. She's a member of St. Mark's Church, and she's doing lay minister outreach. She's a member and Paul Harris Fellow of the Gastonia Rotary Club. Will you join me in recognizing Kathy Young, the 2023 Gaston County Athena Award winner. <laughs> and to be considered in the same breath with the previous Athena recipients. It's a little overwhelming. I confided to a friend earlier that I was a nervous wreck about this. Um, if you had asked me to come and talk about real estate or um, those in need, the homeless, bountiful blessings, food pantry, um, the restoration center and all that is happening at Mount Zion, you wouldn't be able to shut me up. I would have run up here and I would have gone on and on. But it just feels um, uncomfortable to be recognized for something that I really feel I have little to nothing to do with. Um, congratulations to you. Um, as, as was just stated, um, I was raised by um, a mother who was a school teacher, and we all know they're superheroes, and a father who was an army colonel, and they instilled in me um, the importance of working hard, but serving. Um, and they always led by example in that. So it was how I was raised, it stuck with me, and uh, so that is, that is all my parents. Um, as a woman of faith, I, I look at this recognition and I know it's because I ask God to order my steps and I am ready and willing to do whatever he calls me to do, even if it does not make any sense or um, I don't want to, or I am uncomfortable doing it. Um, and the times that I know I am ill-equipped to do whatever he's calling me to do are always the biggest adventures. And he has always provided. Um, I'm fortunate, I know, that I have always been aware of how good God has been to me. Um, he has given me so many amazing role models to follow. So many of you are here in this room. Um, like the two earlier people, I'm a crier and a hugger, so there are certain threads in all these recipients. <clears throat> when Jenny said, um, could you meet me for coffee? I thought, this is so fun. <laughs> she knows how much I love her and we never get together. And, um, so I did sob in the coffee house in McCattenville, and I said, are you sure it's me? There's so many Cathy's, it's so common. <laughs> and then you've got uh, Natalie, my twin, that everyone always mistakes us. I was just sure that there had been a, a mistake. 
but I am most grateful for the honor. <clears throat> she said, um, bring your cheerleaders with you. And I said, what do you mean? She said, well, you know, people that support you and love you. And I thought, well, the room is not big enough for that because um, the things that the people around me do, um, there's not enough time uh, to explain to you. My family is here. My sister-in-law, Wendy Coffin, my child, Austin, um, my best friend, Kathy Cooper. And I want to uh, thank you all for being here and thank you for everything that you do for me so that I can do for others. And I'm not going to start naming names because uh, I need to wrap it up, but my husband, David Young, um, is my biggest supporter. And he is, um, he is very much a servant heart. And it doesn't matter what I tell him needs to be done or what we're gonna do next. He shakes his head a lot. <laughs> but, he, um, but he moves forward, he supports me, he encourages me. And um, he saved my life in so many ways. And my love for him knows no bounds. And thank you so much, David, for everything you do. see my work life as my ministry, whether it's uh, real estate and finding people houses or working with the homeless and trying to help them be sheltered. Um, and I give you my words and I accept this uh, very heavy award as it was described to me, that I will continue to do everything I can to make you proud and show that I am deserving of this. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Kathy. Congratulations, Trish. Thank you again, Janet, for your continued support. So well deserved. Well, this is the fun time that we have some audience participation. And as we're getting set with the business portion of the program, we're going to talk about three things today. First thing, as you see in the program, is honoring our past. So I was going to look for an old man with gray hair to talk a little bit about honoring our past with the GBA. And I would love to invite our GBA board member and founder of Avid Exchange, Mr. Chris Elmore, from his table to honor our past. I'm not that old. I'm not that old. I feel young. I feel young. No, but uh, so how's everyone doing? Good. I hope everyone's doing great. So uh, thanks for that. Oh, look, I mean, my name is even up there. Wonderful. Someone take a picture and send it to my kids. So about two years ago, Avid Exchange, which is a Charlotte-based company, born and bred to, since 2000, we said, we, we, we thought we need to kind of go where our people are. And there's a ton of people that live in Gaston County that uh, commute and work in, uh, in, in Charlotte at Avid Exchange. And the desire was to get back out and, and reach out to the community. And so I have a relationship with Patrick, although he does not denies it. And he, we, we started talking, and it was pretty easy for Avid Exchange to get involved with the GBA. It really was. But then the thing, when you asked me about this, the thing I just wanted to bring personally is that coming back into Gaston County is a real homecoming for me. And um, it was 1988. I started at Gaston College. And um, that's where I found my momentum that actually helped propel the company to, to be uh, over a couple of billion in value. I'll, I'll pause there to let that sink in. Yeah, I know. Uh, it got out of my high school class reunion that I helped start a billion dollar company because I was telling everybody. Yeah. 
<laughs> but it's it's that it's that. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. This will be my last time at the mic, but um, it's that coming back home that is so special, and that's something that I, I love, and I love being part of the GBA for that exact reason. Thanks. Thank you, Chris, for honoring our class. I'm going to bring it up to the stage with Mr. Pat Mumford to share more. All right, well, thank, <clears throat> thanks, Steve. Steve's my partner in crime and great colleague, and we did not call each other to dress the same today, but it does warm my heart that my Notre Dame friend has a Clemson tie on <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Uh, again, congratulations to Cynthia. Uh, you're such a great supporter of ours. I appreciate that. And Trish, and of course, Kathy. And Kathy and I work together on the board of Habitat. It's been a pleasure working with her. So. so now I'd like to recognize two other people. Uh, this is a time of transition at this event for our, our organization as board members roll off and new board members come on. So uh, Dan Boyd has been serving this organization in its current state and in, in the predecessor organization for a long time. And Terry Cox as well has been serving us diligently. Terry, unfortunately, unless she snuck in, was not able to make it today, but I would last, like to ask Dan to come up so we can honor him for his service to not only the GBA, but to the, to the broader business community. Dan, oh, there you are. So we have a little bit of uh, <laughs> Dan served as our, our board chair two years ago, and then he hung on, thankfully, for one more year as our past chair. So, Appreciate all that service. And we have a small token here from the board and the staff for what you've done for us. And we greatly, greatly appreciate all of that. Thank you, Dan and Terry, for all your service and continued support. We're going to celebrate our present now, the present day and things and people that are making an impact, and none other than one of our all-stars, Donna Wagner from Dole Fresh Vegetables, is going to say a little bit about company and personal connections with the GBA. Donna! how the GBA has really impacted me, and especially in my role, I'm the HR manager for Dole. I moved here April of last year. Um, I'm not from North Carolina. My husband and I, we did not have any family or friends here. I moved here for my job. I moved into a role where I didn't have any connections, networked with anyone, and Angel Bias, who is our plant director and also a board member for the GBA, he said, oh, you need to get involved in the GBA, and that's what I did. I started going to meetings, I started networking with people, and this, just last week, I graduated from Leadership Gaston, so the fall class of 2023, that's right. <laughs> if you have not participated in the leadership class. The leadership class has really helped me for our organization. Though we, we employ over 600 employees every day in our, at our organization. And everyday life happens with people in the workplace. And the network that I have made with Leadership Gaston and through the GBA has really helped me within my role so I can help service our employees. When we went and took some tours of some of the nonprofit organizations. Those organizations don't know what an impact they were to me, but also to our organization, because the Catherine House, we have individuals that, that um, suffer through um, people going through homelessness. And the Catherine's House, that, very, that impacted me so well, because I have women that have domestic violence that we need to serve. Also, when we went to the Holy Angels, that was awesome as well. But I do have to say the Webb Street was 
the most impactful through that leadership Gaston. But I do want to thank all my leadership Gaston group. There will never be a class before us or after <laughs> us like us. Thank you, Donna. Back up to the path, celebrating our president. I'll tell you what, this, this leadership Gaston class stuff's getting pretty heated. <laughs> Who here thinks their class, their class was the best? One of six days. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes further back than that. For sure. <laughs> now I'd like to ask Eric Clay, our board chair, to come up uh, to talk about sort of what he sees as the, this year's work and to set up for next year. Eric? Good afternoon. Um, what a great day. Um, all the recipients of the awards, awesome. Kathy, knocked it out, girl. Good job. She was nervous. She, she made it through, so good job. Um, Dan, thanks again for all of your time and energy spent. Uh, really thank you, and you, you've been a great mentor to me and uh, showed me how to do it the right way, so appreciate all your time. Terry, too, wish you could be here. Uh, also want to recognize all the board members uh, that helped through the year, all their time and dedication to this. So, Dan, again, thank you. Angel Baez, Terry Cox, Chris Elmore. Sorry, you were in the uh, past, not the present. Um, uh, who else? Betsy Huggins, Janice Stites, Brad Drury, Carrie Massey, who's going to be taking my spot here in a little bit. Uh, Jim Morasso, unfortunately, can't be here. Moses Newman, where's Moses? There he is. Thank you. Robin Lang, Rusty Harris and Martha Wagner. Uh, Janet, thank you for all the time you put in on the financials and helping us right the ship through this transition period. And uh, you really are appreciated. But if y'all would all stand up and just everybody give them a big round of applause. They really have spent a lot of time. Some of, some of that and, uh, and some of the successes we've had this year. But before I, I get off stage, I want to thank Pat and, uh, and Steve and the staff. We really are blessed to have what we have uh, with you guys. And uh, as much time as I spent with you and Steve uh, and the staff, it, 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 it really is a pleasure and an honor to, to work with you. And I've had the greatest time. I learned a lot from you and I uh, appreciate you uh, sticking up for me and, uh, and putting me on your hip. So I, I appreciate it, it's been a good year, so thank you. I, everybody give them a round of applause. They were all awesome. so, great, great stuff. Uh, uh, you gotta stay up here. <clears throat> so <clears throat> that was very kind of Eric. Um, he, he has been incredibly engaged as a, a board chair, in a good way. <laughs> you know, board chairs that are engaged in not so helpful way, uh, but he's always been there. Uh, anytime we call, he's he's quick to respond, and it's just been it's really been helpful. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about where we are in our third year as an organization, and we're just starting to get our stride. So this was a critical year, and Eric did a great job leading us through this. So, in honor of that service, I would like to present to you this hidden gift. The bowling ball. <laughs> On behalf of the board and the staff, thank you so much for your service. And don't forget, you have one more year with us. So let me, I want to talk a little bit about what, what we have done this year, but I referenced it uh, previously. We're in our third, third year, wrapping up our third year, which is not very long for an organization. So we formed three years ago through a merger. 
uh, mergers, those who've been through them, know that they can be pretty disruptive. <clears throat> and the boards from the beginning to now have really supported us as we've gotten through all the mechanics of a new organization, starting with what should the name be? What should the colors be? What should the board look like? So we've wrestled strategically with who we need to be. And we're beginning to now put that theory into practice. And this is where the fun work really, really starts for us. So as Eric mentioned, we focus strategically. We're focused on advocacy, economic development, talent development, and also a small business support. <clears throat> so it has been said, and I fully agree, that strategy without action is delusion. Um, and we, we don't want to be about words on paper. Uh, you saw last year, probably the year before, we put up on the screens, here our strategy, here's all the language. You're not going to see any of that today. Because that, that's done, and it's solid. We've tested that. It's really positioned us to, to do good work. But we haven't done this alone, though. I look out into this audience, and so many of you helped us craft that. So many have helped us really implement these ideas of a new organization. I can't thank you enough for that. Our whole investor base has provided feedback. Again, we don't know all the answers. Hopefully we know the right questions to ask, uh, but we are here to provide value to all of you. And we can't, we can't define that value. We need you to help us with that. And we have partner organizations throughout, throughout the county that are just tremendous. Uh, the, the, the level of of collaboration in Gaston County now compared to, let's say, five years ago, it, it's, it's, it's so different. It's vastly different uh, in a good way. <clears throat> and as was said before by some award winners, we can't do these things alone. I think with Cynthia, we have to be together. And I do see a sense of that, and that's great. Because our organization is really about convening, not dictating. So thank you for that support. So let me just run through some of the things we've done. I'm not going to show you statistics. This will be a little bit more just conversational. Uh, but advocacy, advocacy is really important for a business organization. And we've been able to address this by connecting with elected officials. So you see some pictures of this. And uh, communicating policy objectives that we have, or that you all actually have, we can carry that message locally to Raleigh and then to Washington as well. And we provide opportunities for investors to engage in this process. And many of you have taken advantage of that and participated in some of our programs. One of them recently was the state delegation came and talked about what happened in Raleigh in this session. What happened with the budget? What were some of the policy initiatives? And how did they meet what our goals were? And they met every single one of them. I'd like to just acknowledge Senator Brad Overcash. We have the Speaker of the House, Tim Moore, with us today. Really appreciate the ability to just call you guys and talk through issues and get a response and move move our initiatives forward. Tremendously helpful. So thank you both and our whole delegation. <laughs> we have uh, regular regular meetings about three times a year with all of the the mayors and managers throughout Gaston County. And this is an opportunity for those individuals to get together where they usually don't. We have 13 municipalities, as you all know, here in Gaston. So it's a chance for these elected officials to share some of their challenges and concerns and talk about what is going on in their communities. And they have the managers there as well. Very well received. And um, I, I think it has helped us with this collaborative sense here in Gaston. We also held candidate forums this past election cycle. And this was just our way of spreading the word of the importance of elections, the importance of being involved in the process. We don't take a stand on who should win or not win, but we think it's critically important that people be informed when they vote. So those were, those were well received and we'll continue to do those in this next, uh, this next cycle. There may be some people in the room that are gonna be a part of that. I'm, I'm not sure. Actually, I am sure. He's filed. <laughs> uh, economic development. So most of you know that Donnie Hicks and the Economic Development Commission do the lion's share of recruitment for big companies, big industry, and they do a great job with that. And it's critically important here in our community. 
Well, we have, what we have determined is there's a, a lot more opportunity in economic development when you look at that by definition. The small towns, the main streets, the small businesses, they really drive most of the employment in this county. So we've emphasized that this year. Uh, Steve's done a great job of pulling together what we call our area chapters. We have an east chapter and a west chapter. This is a framework that allows municipal leaders and small business leaders in these towns to come together and determine how to best support the vibrancy of their downtowns. And we're, help, we're there to help that. We also uh, host a program, <clears throat> sorry, um, for highlighting development activity. So this is a chance to bring city leaders and the development community into a space to share their perspectives on why they're, why they're investing in Gaston County, what brought them here, what are the projects they see underway today, and, and how do they see the future. Again, trying to provide insight for all of you that attend these things, so it's a beneficial time. Uh, th those have been extremely well received. And we're excited about an effort that will be underway uh, in two weeks in partnership with the City of Gastonia and Gaston County and business owners in downtown Gastonia to develop a strategic, comprehensive redevelopment strategy for downtown Gastonia. There's been a lot of great work going on in downtown, but it's, it's a bit separated. And we think that we need to have more of this holistic picture of what downtown can be so we can knit that together and tell that story to potential investors and potential businesses that we might be able to recruit to downtown Gastonia. We will use that information and that process to inform how we support all of the other communities here in Gaston. So great work to come in 24 on that front. And I mentioned the importance of small businesses. As most of you know, the majority of jobs are in small businesses. They're the mainstay of our economy. That is not different here in Gaston County than anywhere else. So throughout feedback, and, and we really do want feedback, we received it, from small businesses. We've enhanced our program offerings to meet the needs of, of these individuals. And it's still important for business-to-business -business relationships and business-to-customer relationships. So we have programs aligned to support that. Um, we're, we're not the chamber of a decade ago where we just have programs to have programs. We are being intentional about this based on what we're being told is important to businesses. We're continuing to grow our resource, our information, uh, resource information through various channels and partnerships. Uh, we, we don't directly write a business plan for somebody, but we can connect individuals to Gaston College, the Small Business Center, or the Small Business and Technology Center out of uh, Appalachian State University, or other resources. People call on us and we redirect them, and we're building the capacity to be able to connect a lot of our investor businesses that can support small business, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep doing that in 24. Leadership Gaston has been mentioned, also mentioned, coordinated by the award-winning Cynthia Stick, who does a phenomenal job each year of not just bringing the, the coursework, but enhancing it. So we're continuously improving Leadership Gaston. Several years ago, we asked ourselves, well, <clears throat> we say leadership, but what are we doing about leadership? It's important to people to see what's going on in the community, to understand the dynamics, but it's also important for leaders to know themselves, to have some self-awareness, to understand how they're wired, to understand then how they can work with others that are different than they are. And we emphasize that throughout each of the sessions of Leadership Gas, and I feel that adds a little bit more of a robust component so people can leave, now you all have to do something with it, but they can leave the class and again, know about how they might show up differently moving forward. It's been very powerful. We're in the early stages of developing a minority business council, and I've said this before in some of the council meetings, uh, we're, we're not entering into this uh, lightly. If we're gonna be in it, we're gonna stay in it, and we, ha we have to be able to do that. I think the worst thing that we can do as an organization is suggest we see a challenge, and we're gonna address it, and we fiddle around for about three months and we don't do anything else. We might as well not have even started. So the demographics in this community are changing rapidly, and we need, we need to be in front of that. Um, minority businesses have unique challenges. 
all businesses have challenges and we're not excluding a certain group but we're saying let us understand what the issues are how can we advocate for you and understand this community will look different in the next generation than it does now so let's get ahead of that learn from other communities that have not quite done that our talent program has been been a two years in the making and it's been extremely iterative so having studied architecture I love doing that it probably wears most people out but we design what we think will work on talent and supporting our manufacturers in this community connecting them to Gaston College and to the school system and then we try it and then we learn and then we redesign and we've gone through that cycle probably about four times over the last two years so we've had to test a lot of assumptions but we're now finally we're clear-eyed in what our role can be as a business association to support a talent pipeline here in this county particularly for the manufacturing sector uh, we're going to enter into an agreement with Gaston College Dr. Hoosers here somewhere um, so we appreciate the partnership with the college what we bring is the connection with businesses the real-time needs that those businesses have and then we, we support um, the, the education component and the training and the, the academic side so that it really meets the needs of business I've heard anecdotally in the past people have said well I get I, I get somebody knocking on my door they have some training and uh, I can use about 20% of what they've learned because it really doesn't relate to the reality of the world today so we're trying to shrink that that challenge of, of time and that's been a great partnership with, with both the, the college and the school system so more to come on that next year our, our ultimate goal with that activity isn't just to talk about it it's so that individuals in this community can not only have a job but a sustained career that's what's critical here that's our outcome now we can't get there immediately but I just want you all to know that's our goal and so there's so many people that are underserved in this space we're, we're talking to the DA's office and how can we help people not get into the criminal system but maybe they're employable um, how can we help people that need just a boost there are folks that do have the desire to work um, and we're trying to figure out how we can help it's extremely complicated as most of you probably know uh, it gets down to sometimes people don't have transportation so you can have all the coursework you want at Gaston College or you can have a great job opportunity but they can't get there or if they can get there you know what they can't do is figure out what to do with their children who are stuck at home and I know that's a state issue you all been working hard on that at the state level so it's, it's very it, it's very complicated and it's a, it's a network sort of problem but we're not shying away from it because if we keep doing what we have been doing we will not net better results that that's proven so we're, we're excited to be partnering with great organizations in that effort so that's that's us sort of strategically and putting it into action and, and none of this work would that would be accomplished without uh, our absolutely phenomenal GBA team so I, I'd, I'd like all of you to stand please so you can be recognized we're missing a couple people today for standing Cynthia I didn't have to call on you so I've, I've been around a bit in my career I've been in the corporate sector for a couple decades public sector for 10 been an elected official and I, I will tell you this is the best team I've had to work with ever um, these folks care about each other they care about the work they care about serving all of you and it's just it's a it's a wonderful opportunity to make a difference in an environment that's really supportive so i, I thank you all for that um, they're dedicated to the investors every day i mean nancy nancy just works i don't know 25 26 hours a day all on behalf of the investors and it's, it's phenomenal to see her at work steve of course knows everybody hard stop um, <laughs> I can't think of a better person to have on the team than Steve, who just has engaged in this community deeply for so long and, and, and brings those connections. And there are two people that don't want me to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, Megan and Madison, would you please stand up again? Uh, 
this, this event was it, is their doing, and it takes an awful lot, as most of you probably know, to pull off an event like this with 200 people and coordinating, and they've just done a phenomenal job, as they do with all of our events. So thank you both so much for all of your effort to make this work. Our, our organization, I've talked about the strategy piece and our focus and our priorities, but our, our folks reach out beyond that into the community. And what you see on this slide is a lot of the different organizations with whom we're engaged collectively. So we serve on committees, we serve on boards, we serve on different councils, over 15 of those. And so uh, the, the time and effort that's put into that is is really phenomenal. I appreciate that. I think it shows up well for our organization that, that our folks care and they're gonna be involved and we'll continue to do that work. Um, I forgot to mention Jamarcus, sorry, Jamarcus. So Jamarcus is, he's our, 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 our quiet stealth superhero on the talent front. Um, Jamarcus and our colleague Brian, who's not able to be here today, are, are really pushing that effort forward and I really appreciate all, all your work there, Jamarcus. All right, so we've, we've demonstrated deep commitment to, to broad discussions about the future of this region. We've talked about how we're focused, and we've got a great foundation. I think that's the bottom line of this meeting, is we, we have worked diligently to determine what the needs are in this community. We've put some words around that. We've been very thoughtful about that. The board has guided this work. Now we're ready to, to put it into place next year. So. Next year can be considered really a year of action for, for the GBA. And that doesn't mean just us, because we're gonna rope all of you into that work. Uh, but it's exciting. Uh, I, I, I don't know that I've had a job more rewarding, at least on the private side, um, than this work. <clears throat> the time is now. Gaston is ready to continue to thrive. Uh, and it isn't gonna be easy, it never is, because change is hard. Uh, but we're, we're prepared to help with that conversation and move us forward, and not all these conversations will be easy, but we're not gonna back down because we have to have it. So we thank you for, for your support in that. And our fearless leader for next year is Carrie Massey. Carrie's our incoming board chair. And she's gonna say a few words and then we'll wrap us up. And as Carrie is coming up, we want to wrap up with how we chart our future. And with that, we have one of our newest investors of the GBA, Patty Hamilton, that will share some parting words as well. And then we'll get on to Carrie. Thank you, Steve. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, I really appreciate the opportunity to say what the GBA has done for me and my business the past year. When my friends and family inquire about how my business is doing, my first response has always been, I have become a professional networker. <laughs> and that's because the GBA and the Professional Women's Association have awesome events, thank you. It's through those events I've met some really wonderful people, have learned more about Gaston County that I now call home, and I've been able to connect with organizations that are committed to helping small businesses get their start and get their feet on the ground in Gaston County. And Pat, you mentioned a lot of those uh, organizations like the SBT DC, uh, as well as Gaston College and their small business center. But I wanna give a special shout out to Launch Gaston because they take you from a point of thinking about a business to those first few months that are really helpful for new businesses. And I would say to you and your team that you are actually achieving your mission to commit, connect services to small businesses in that need through your collaboration. So thank you. Thank you so much. Patty, you can learn a lot more about her and her leadership program, her book. And on to our incoming board chair, Ms. Carrie Massey. Thanks, Steve. Well, first of all, congratulations, Cynthia, Trisha, and Kathy. How amazing is it to be in a room 
filled with so many women leaders. The same. Many of whom have led this county for many, many years and have helped develop those of us who are continuing to lead and the, the entire county um, to be such a great place. And also Donna, I'm pretty sure the class of 2006 might give the class of 2023 onto their money. Um, I wanna personally thank Eric Clay for being such a valuable leader this year and for always being such a wonderful resource for this organization. And I'm sure he's going to be a very engaged vice uh, uh, past board chair. So I'm sure you will, right? Yeah. Um, he's been a great leader and I'm looking forward to working with everyone over the next year. I would like to take a moment to look ahead to the year and introduce you to some of our new board members for 2024. Um, and so two of them I would like to recognize now and if you would stand, uh, Malia Malden, was still specialty. Is she here? Um, oh, okay. So she'll be joining um, the GBA um, in 2024. And also John Forgan with Fort First Horizon Bank. John is no stranger to the GBA, so welcome back, John. With the new year, we also have new officers to help us guide, to help guide us through the coming year. Um, our vice chair, Rusty Harris, if you'll stand when I call your name. Our treasurer, Janet Seitz. Our secretary, Jim Rosso. And of course, our past chair, Eric Clay. Thank you for your commitment to help lead this organization. I'm excited about what 2024 holds for the GBA, and we are genuinely looking forward to maintaining strategic priorities and growing together in exceeding our investors' expectations. And I know that I'm the person standing between you and getting back to work. So I will just wrap up by saying thank you for being here today. Thank you for your support of the GBA. Great things to come with this organization for many years to come. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas and safe travels to wherever it is you're going. Thank you.